Hi, grade six. I hope you're all still safe and healthy at home. Hope you're not too bored. So this year you are grade six. Last year I saw you when you were grade five. Most of you all will know if there's any new students. My name is teacher Nico and I'll be teaching you ICP. So this year you've got your new books. You've got your Everybody Up, book six. And we're gonna be starting for this first lesson, we're gonna be starting with unit one, getting around. So unit one, getting around, page four and page five. So unit one, page four and five. So we'll be doing it the same way we did it last year, the same concept, that, the same format that we use in class. So first, we're gonna be looking at up there, when you open your book on page four, you'll see that block and there is our vocabulary or phrases that we are gonna be using. So first we'll go over those uh, at A, then we'll move on to B, listen and number, C, listen and say, and D, listen, ask and answer. So we're gonna be doing vocabulary, then we're gonna be numbering them with the pictures, the vocabulary will match them with the pictures, then we'll be moving on to the sentence, and then after that, we'll be making questions with the sentences. So exactly the same format as what we did last year. So if you have your books, you can follow in your book. If you don't have your books yet, wait until you get your books. Oh, and for now, you can just listen and follow. So try to remember to say everything, repeat everything that I say, or listen attentively, and then try and repeat what I said. Okay, so basically we're gonna start now. I really hope you all still well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in class again, because obviously online videos aren't that great. Some of you will listen, some of you will be playing games and sleeping, but if you just listen for the next 15 to 20 minutes, it will be over soon and you'll learn something. So let's start. So on page four, Unit one, getting around. So right on top in that white box, we're gonna be doing the six vocabulary words or phrases. So let's start with number one. Number one is up the street. So you go up the street. So let's say you go to 7-Eleven, you just say 7-Eleven is just up the street. Number two, over the bridge. So you go over a bridge. Sapanloi, bridge, you go over the bridge. Number two, over the bridge. Let's move on to number three. Number three is under the train tracks. So you go under the train tracks. You go over the bridge and you go under the train tracks. Train tracks, the train on the train tracks, you go under the train tracks. Number four, around the fountain. So you go around the fountain. Fountain, thing that sprays water, like a little waterfall kind of thing that you find in a park, around the fountain. Number five, along the river. So along the river, there's a river, you walk along the river. It means you walk next to it. You follow the river, along the river. And then finally, number six, down the stairs. So you go up, but this time you go up the stairs, we're gonna be doing down the stairs. You walk down the stairs. So let's just review and recap the vocabulary words that we're doing. Number one, up the street. Number two, over the bridge. Number three, under the train tracks. Number four, around the fountain. Number five, along the river. Number six, down the stairs. Okay, so those are our six vocabulary words or phrases that we're gonna be using. So that's section A. If we move on to section B, where we have the pictures, we have to use those six vocabulary words or phrases and we have to match them with the pictures. So in your book, just match them with the pictures. So let's see. 
There is little circles there and you match number one, two, three, four, five, six with those pictures. So let's see, you can see there is over the bridge. So that's going to be number two. Uh, along the river, that's going to be number five. They're walking along the river. Under the train tracks, you see they go under. So that's going to be number three. And this one up up the street this one is going to be up the street you walk up the street so that's going to be number one so just put the numbers in there in your book now let's move on to section c and you'll see on page five section c on top there's pictures six pictures and there's a sentence that we're going to be using and there's a little blue box in the little blue box there's some directions, basic directions that we're going to be using in the sentence. So number one there is turn right. Turn right. Number one, turn right. Number two, turn left. Turn left. Number three, go straight. Number one, turn right. Turn right. Liu Kua. Turn right. Number two, turn left. Liu Sai. Turn left. Number three, go straight. Trompai, go straight. Okay, so that's extra vocabulary that we're gonna be using. So let's look at our basic sentence. Our basic sentence is walk up the street and then we can use and turn right, and turn left, or and go straight. So walk up the street and turn right, walk up the street and turn left, walk up the street and go straight. So that's our basic three, uh, sentence. Walk, and then we're gonna put one of our six vocabulary words on page five in there, but we're gonna be looking at the picture to get the context. So let's look at picture one. Picture one is like a street, and it shows us a direction. So number one is walk up the street, and then we see the arrow turns to the right. So we're gonna say walk up the street and turn right walk up the street and turn right now let's look at picture number two picture number two is a bridge and there's a little arrow so we can see it's over the bridge so we're going to be saying walk over the bridge and turn left walk over the bridge and turn left Let's look at page, uh, picture number three. Picture number three shows us train tracks and you can clearly see the arrow is underneath the train tracks, so under the train tracks. So picture number three is gonna be walk under the train tracks and go straight. Walk under the train tracks and go straight. Picture number four. There's a fountain. So what do we do with the fountain? We go around the fountain and we follow the arrow. So picture number four is going to be walk around the fountain and go straight. Walk around the fountain and go straight. Let's look at picture number five. Picture number five shows us a river. So our vocabulary for the river is along the river. So we're gonna be saying, walk along the river and turn left. Walk along the river and turn left. Okay, let's look at picture number six. Picture number six shows us stairs. What are we, so what's the vocabulary we're gonna use of stairs? Walk down the stairs. So for picture number six, we're gonna be saying, Walk down the stairs and turn right. Walk down the stairs and turn right. Okay, so basically what we did is we filled in where the red words were in the sentence. We replaced them with the vocabulary we, so we did in the beginning and we replaced it over there. And we added turn right, turn left or go straight by looking at the pictures, seeing what direction the arrow is showing. So all I want you to do is 
say those sentences, repeat, repeat them after me, and then write them underneath your pictures. Underneath, underneath each picture, write the correct sentence. Now, we're going to be looking at section D on page 5. Section D. So here, we have a question and an answer. So, what is our question? Our basic question is, how do I get to the... How do I get to the... Now, we have to look at the picture to get the context. Where are we going? So here they give us an example. How do I get to the hotel? Because you can see in picture number one, there is an hotel. So how do I get to the hotel? So our answer is going to be, first walk up the street. We're looking at the arrows. First walk up the street and turn right. You see that? Up the street and turn right. Then, then walk over the bridge and turn left so basically we're just following the directions in the picture and we're replacing all the words in red in the sentence replacing them with our vocabulary that we were learning so it's very basic the sentence structure stays the same we're just replacing the red words with the new vocabulary that we learned so picture number one how do i get to the hotel first Number one, first, walk up the street and turn right. Then, walk over the bridge and turn left. Okay, so picture number two. Let's look at picture number two. What do we have there? We have a supermarket, we have a river, and we have train tracks. So, we're going to say, how do I get to the supermarket and we're gonna say first walk along the river and turn left first walk along the river and turn left then go under the train tracks because we go under the train tracks and go straight so what is our question and answer how do I get to the supermarket first go along the river first walk along the river then turn left uh, so first walk along the river and turn left then go under the train tracks and go straight now let's look at picture number three Picture number three shows us a fountain, stairs, and what is that? That is a movie theater. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to the movie theater. So our question is going to be, how do I get to the movie theater? How do I get to the movie theater? Our answer is going to be, let's look at the arrows. First, walk around the fountain, then go straight. First, walk around the fountain and go straight. So you go around the fountain and go straight. Then, walk down the stairs and turn right. So let's look at our full question and answer. How do I get to the movie theater? First, walk around the fountain and go straight. Then, walk down the stairs and turn right. And you'll be at the movie theater. So I need you to write your question and your answer underneath each picture. There's only three of them. So basically, in this video, we did or this lesson, we did getting around, we did directions. We did our six vocabulary words. Number one, up the street. Number two, over the bridge. Number three, under the train tracks. Number four, around the fountain. Number five, along the river. Number six, down the stairs. Then we matched them. We put the numbers with the pictures. Then we did the basic sentence and we did new vocabulary 
turn right, turn left, go straight. Then at the last one, we did the question, how do I get to, how do I get to 7-Eleven? How do I get to the hotel? And we looked at the directions and we added and we put all our vocabulary in there. Okay guys, so I need you to use your book, read along, look at my video, repeat all the vocabulary and all the sentences, try and repeat it after me. Listen to what I'm saying, how I'm pronouncing the words, the vocabulary, the sentences, the questions. Then I need you to write it in your book. And if you need to, you can re-watch this video. Uh, you can practice these sentences, these questions, the, these vocabulary by yourself, or you can practice it with your parents or your family. Um, this is lesson one. We will be doing a review of this when you eventually get back to school. Hopefully this COVID nonsense doesn't last too long and we all get vaccinated and everything goes back to normal. But in the meantime, watch the video, re-watch the video, make sure you understand, follow along in your book and you should be okay. I will review this with you as soon as you're back to school to make sure that you understand. Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, for lesson one. I'll see you again when we're going to be doing lesson two in the book. I hope you're all safe and healthy at home. Stay safe, stay healthy, don't irritate your parents, don't get too bored, don't play too many games and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.